Hello, this is an instructional video of how to use thinking blocks. The objectives for this video are that we will learn the use of appropriate technology tools to assist in the problem solving process. We will use pictorial representations to solve addition and subtraction word problems. And we will learn to use the thinking block software created by Math Playground. I'm going to go ahead and open a web browser. I am going to be using Safari. Any web browser will work. And I've already typed in mathplayground.com. Uh, mathplayground.com, it should bring you to this website here. Uh, and then you see this nice big brown icon that says thinking blocks. That's where we're going. You can go to the thinking blocks. Now there are lots of different thinking blocks um, options. Um, they have some some junior ones, so it has some simpler math problems in like one digit, two digit addition and subtraction. We have thinking blocks addition. That's the one that we're going to be working with today. There's also multiplication, fractions, and ratios for um, future grades. We're going to use this thinking blocks addition as it loads. Um, I don't have to push play the game. Uh, so here we have playground.com, our thinking blocks. This app, or this web version, there there are some apps available. However, they ha uh, the Math Playground hasn't updated the apps in quite some time. And so with newer versions of um, device software, such as on this iPad, the iOS version, um, 11, I think that's what I have now, iOS 11, um, thinking blocks is not compatible with it on the app version. So that's why we're using the web version here. Uh, the great thing about the web version is that it's ever-changing um, and that there are... Um, it, anyways, it's great. <laughs> Um, so here we go. With the Space Race 3000, the annual Space Race has begun. There are eight planets to visit in all. Solve the math puzzles. Collect the planet postcards. Help your robot team win. Let's get started. Yes, let's do it. So we need to select which model to begin for the set. Um, lots of different things within addition. There's part whole. Um or part, part, whole with two parts. There's part, 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 whole with three parts. There's the comparison ones, changing things or working backwards. Uh, we are going to do the part, part, whole with only the two parts for now. Um, as we continue learning, we can uh, move on to some of those other models. So here we go. Another great thing about this is that it will read the problems to you. So here on the screen we see the the problem, the word problem in the purple section. Our workspace is in the white where we're going to be building a bar model. Um, and then the instructions, they're in green. For you students that would like it read to you, put on your headphones and listen to... or you can have it read to you. So here we go with the instructions, I'll have it read it to us. Read the word problem. Can you find the parts and whole? Build a model. Drag blocks and labels to the targets in the work area. Tap the check mark when you are ready. Thank you, robot reader. Definitely sounds like a robot. All right, now we know what to do. Reading the word problem, finding the parts and the whole, building a model. Okay, so our problem is, robot reader, take it away. Prodong had 18 pulleys in his workshop. He found another 19 pulleys. How many pulleys does Proton have now? Well, thank you, robot reader. Proton, that's our character. That's his name. And um, pulleys, those are some things that are used in a workshop. So now we need to build this bar model to help us understand this problem. I just want to define those two words for you. So we get these bars. We're going to put them out here. I guess it doesn't necessarily matter which one goes first right now. What does matter right now is that we need we have these blue icons on the right, and we are going to tap and drag them over to the label sections, but we don't know which place they need to go in. 
So we have one that says total pulleys. We have ones that say pulleys found. And then pulleys at first. That one that says total, I think I'm going to total put... Total pulleys. Oh, thank you, robot reader. I'm going to put that on that label as it is demonstrating the full length of this bar. And then I can put... Pulleys at first. Ah, this is robot reader. So helpful. The pulleys at first there, and the pulleys found. Pulleys found. Here. And then check mark. Yes! I get this fabulous little noise when I did it correctly. Now I need to put the numbers, the things that we know and the things that we don't know, into this bar model. So reading it again, it says Proton had 18 pulleys in his workshop. He found another 19 pulleys. So how many pulleys does Proton have now? Well, let's see. Proton had 18 pulleys in his workshop. So I'm going to tap and drag, drab, tap and drag the 18 to the pulleys that he had at first. It says he found another 19. So tap and drag the 19 to the ones that he found, represented by the purple. And then the total is going to be the thing that we don't know. Yes, I got it. Now that I have figured out or shown the problem with this picture, now I can understand, oh, I am going to add 18 and 19 to solve it. So, so selecting this, I can put in my answer, 18 plus 19. Oh, maybe I need another tool to add these together. I could, since I know how to use number pieces, I could switch over to this, do 18, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus 19, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could select these to make a new 10. Excellent. So it's 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Woo! Coming back over to Safari, my answer is 37. Yes, I got it right. Fantastic job, robots. Now I'm going to push the blue, the blue arrow to continue. And here's another problem that I can continue working on using the bar model of first figuring out what is, what is the whole, what are the parts, and then putting those numbers to the parts in the whole to figure out what it is that you're actually solving for. Thinking Blocks is great, and I hope you enjoy using it. It's a nice, fun game. I'm going to come back over here. Did we meet the objectives? Can we use technology tools to assist in the problem solving process appropriately? Yes, we can. I can use pictorial representations to solve addition and subtraction word problems. Yes, I use the bar models. And I can use the thinking block software. Yes, I can. And I love our little robot reader. So I hope you enjoy listening to her as well. Have a great day, everyone. And... Have fun with think thinking blocks.